okay so today i have decided to give you a quick update on um student visa for international students 2023 intake okay i think it's very important update because you want to know what you'll be looking at how you're going to do your application and when to start and how you're going to run your school in australia today's video will cover updates on Australian school system for 2023 as regards to the semester, how it runs and the school breaks. And also it will cover application timeline and school intakes. Another update will be on tuition fee idea for 2023 for um, undergraduate uh, degree, for master's degree, PhD degree, TEF diploma. Then another update will be on age as regards to student visa and lastly we talk about your options after studies like i'm sure you want to settle in aussie after studies you want to settle and settle permanently here okay and enjoy the life all right so let's dig in now let's talk about um australia school system in 2023 you have two semesters if you are going to study in higher institution okay i'm not talking about secondary school and primary school here i'm talking about tertiary institution university and colleges that is tef so you're going to have maximum of two semesters just like every other year okay so your first semester will start late february or early march depending on the school all right then it will end late may or early june after that you will start your second semester some school will start in late july while some school will start in early august okay so depending on your school you start your second semester late july or early august the second semester will run through to november then you will have your break again november or they say december january february and late february or march will start again one good thing about australian school system is that when it comes to tertiary institution you can start either in first semester or second semester although two semesters will count as one year of study so if you're going to study for two years it means that in total you are going to have four semesters it doesn't matter whether you start in first semester or second semester you can choose to start in second semester it means you start counting your four semesters from there it means that you will finish your study second semester in two years so it doesn't matter when you start so the next point we want to cover is admission timeline when do you apply for admission in australia as an international student for domestic students the timeline differs but for international students it has to be at a particular time okay if that time passes you cannot apply for a particular intake if you want to study in australia in 2023 in first semester if you want to start your first semester that is february march start period that is the first semester it means that your admission period your application period for admission will be in october november will be in october november this year october november the school will close their um application process and you will hear from them whether you get admission or not so that you will have time at least three months to apply for your visa to start february march next year which is 2023 but if you want to start um, your schooling in Australia in second semester, which is July, August intake, it means that you are going to do your application next year. That is in 2023 from April to May. So the application process for second semester is April to May. So it runs from April to May. Then it will close so this will guide you so why i mentioned the admission process is that i've seen some people they will wake up and say to me i want to come to australia now i want to start studying in australia i want to start i want to start my studies in australia in 2023 
when you ask them, is it first semester or second semester? Every school can decide to give admission in first semester or second semester. Okay, so it doesn't mean that you must start in first semester. For example, in Nigeria, if you want to start studies, you must start in first semester. That is not the same in Australia. In Australia, for example, if I am doing my master's in public health, okay, I can start in first semester or I can start in second semester. So whichever semester you start, you start your first year there and it runs through. So if it's a two years program you are doing, for example, um, a master's in public health, you start it in July 2023, you will finish in July 2025. It's not much that I must start my, my studies in first semester. No. Whichever admission process you want to go through with, you go through with it. It can be first semester or second semester. It runs through. It depends on what you want and how you plan it and when you are ready. Another quick update I want to give you is on school fees. I'm going to give you an average school fees for each program. You know, I have made video on how to find school fees in each school website and I've given a link to all the universities and TEF in Australia. I will drop the video in the description box as well. And also, I will also drop that video that I made on steps on how to find admission in Australian universities and TEF. Okay, quick update on school fees, okay? So as an international student and you're coming to Australia to study in 2023 for bachelor degree, you'll be looking at 20,000 Australian dollars to 45,000 Australian dollars, depending on the school. Check my video on that, on how to find cheap schools as well. So tuition fee for bachelor degree, that is undergraduate degree, is between $20,000 to $45,000, all money in Australian dollars. If you want to convert uh, Australian dollars to your country currency, please do not use Google because Google will give you a general um, exchange. Whereas what you will use to change will be if you are paying in or paying someone to pay you or you're going to pay through bank or anything, you probably will be using an app, something like Cash Remit, Word Remit, um, Terex, and so on, okay? If you want to know this app, you can drop a, com a comment in my comment section. I will give you their names or their link. So it will help to guide you anytime you s see any figure in Australian dollars, you can slot it there and it will give you exact amount in your country currency, okay? Now, if you want to study master's degree in Australian University, you will be paying tuition of $22,000 to $50,000, okay? Majority of schools. Some schools might go higher than that. But if you want to do your PhD, you are looking at $22,000 to $50,000. So postgraduates are all the same, but you can find scholarship you can shoot your shot try scholarship people get scholarship who knows you might be lucky then if you are doing vocational that is TEF, it's between four thousand to twenty two thousand dollars please all amount is per year so one year study so if you are doing two year studies it means times two so each figure i have given here is in australian dollars and is pay year studies okay another quick update i want to give you is about age many people have been telling me things about age and their agent don't want to listen to them once they cross 40 or something okay this agent sometimes uh, i don't know i don't know but sometimes you need to have your facts and argue with them you need to show them that you know something that's why you are a subscriber of this channel. You need to prove to your agent that I know this and I know that and you provide facts for them, okay? So if you are 45 years and you want to do your postgraduate studies and your agent is reluctant, telling you that you may not get it or something, I want to tell you one thing. Do you know that admission is for free, okay? 
admission is for free the only time you have to pay school certain amount which is not even up to 50 percent of your school fees to get confirmation of a roman to go for your visa after they have given you a provisional admission okay so why not try persuade your agent to try for you another thing i want to tell you about age is this australia is in critical need of skilled workers both skilled and unskilled workers there is critical labor shortage in australia so australian federal government is pumping millions of dollars to bring more people to australia and student visa is one of the major way they bring people to australia because they believe that once you finish studying you're going to settle okay forget about this gte thing okay you just do it in the surface they already know you're going nowhere anyways but you don't have to tell them that i'm coming to stay just give them what they want to hear okay tell them things how you are going back but they know you are going to stay they want you to stay indirectly they want you to settle and work they need your labor okay so you know why i'm saying this graduate fees visa we have graduate visa here which is visa 485 the maximum age for that visa has increased to 50 years so if you are 45 years and your agent doesn't want you to go because he's scared of what what is this agent scared of you are 45 years in two years you will finish okay so let's assume that you have a 45 years 46 47 let's say in 48 years you already finished that your master's degree which is two years 48 years you are going to apply for your postgraduate work visa which has maximum age of 50 then you get it then after you get it what do you do you start working and gain your experience so that visa is minimum of two years depending on what you study so it ranges from two years to five years even for master's degrees is up to five years now then after that watch my video on skilled and unskilled uh, um, visa sponsorship in australia so once you study here you are hot cake people go they rush you like they go they rush you time has passed when you have to have this fancy degree for you to get permanent resident in australia now that you they need you okay so if you watch that my video on skilled and unskilled um visa sponsorship you will find out that even age care even as you are studying your masters eh they do your age care certificate or they work as an age carer by the time you finish your studies and get your postgraduate work visa apply for your permanent resident because you must have had job experience as well then you get your job the time has gone when you must study nursing and um, doctor be a social worker or whatever before you get your permanent resident things are happening now you need to up your game okay let me give you an example so that's why i said you have to stick to this channel so you will know more stick to this channel so you will know what is happening you don't dwell in the past and keep saying that you are not qualified blah 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 i want to tell you something so currently like a new update now is that for visa 485 which is a graduate work visa they have streamlined the process so you're not going to do skill assessment when you graduate to get this visa you have to apply and some of the visas you, you don't have to be nominated for occupation or go and do your assessment you applied and get your work visa do you know why because they need your skill they need your skill so why are you shining away argue with your agent give your agent facts you get you got from jen kenny's creation okay talk about the age watch all my videos about age watch about my video uh, video about 45 years permanent resident watch my video about uh, um labor agreement skilled and unskilled laborers labor agreement that has age concession and english language concession give your agent facts and move okay now lastly what i want to tell you is this for people that have always have intention to study in australia it is good to have your pen and paper write things down okay when you go to your agent it is always for you to know something agent doesn't know everything and from the habit of searching googling finding things yourself everything about um australian universities and school and admission process 
an agent is online okay for people that are asking about agent for student visa yeah it is more that you have an agent especially for africans i don't know about asians whether it is a must but for nigeria i am 100 percent sure that for you to migrate to australia to study you must go through school appointed agent how do you find them go to school website go to international student page check inquiries or contact okay they will show you some of the website will ask you which country did you study then you click your country they will give you all the information about the agent and some of them warrant you to just fill a form and they will send you the detail of their agent so you don't need to look far to get this information or you can watch my video on steps on how to secure admission in australia and it will give you a guide on how to find all these things okay watch out for my next video please subscribe to my channel share my video share 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 my video and thank you see you in the next video bye